Let's use up scraps from our watercolor projects to make something else. And along the way, we're gonna practice watercolor. When we made this the other day, I kept thinking about a gumball machine. The main skill that we're gonna be practicing today is softening edges. The first thing you wanna decide is how big your gumballs are gonna be. You can cut these out by hand, but I have this circular punch, and so this is gonna be the size of my gumballs. We're gonna be making circular shapes. They don't need to be perfect circles. We want it to be a little bit bigger than the size that we're gonna cut out. We wanna make a loop around, and then we're gonna wash our brush, tap it so it's a little dry, and then we're gonna soften this in. What we're practicing is getting a little bit of a fade where it's lighter in the center and darker around the edge. You can also do this in reverse. So you could start by placing water down first, then adding the color around the edges, letting it bleed together, or again, washing your brush and then softening them together. Try this out a couple different ways in a bunch of different colors until you have about the number of gumballs you want. Then on a larger scrap of paper, we're gonna try to make a light blue wash in a pretty even manner. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. We're gonna be covering a lot of it, but use this to practice your washes. Also on a larger scrap, we're gonna add in a bunch of red. And what I'm practicing here is trying to get a really concentrated color. So I'm gonna be using less water in my brush and more of the paint. And on our final little scrap, I'm gonna add in some metallic watercolor. It's gonna be the hardware. And I just want it to be nice and shiny. Once you have all your components painted, you wanna either let them dry or make them dry. Then we wanna cut all our components out. I'm gonna start with my gumballs. Ooh. Once I've got all my gumballs cut out, I'm gonna kind of arrange them to see about how big of a circle I want the glass part to be so that it's appropriate for the size of the gumballs. I think the outer side of this will be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that down on the blue and trace around it and cut it out. I'm gonna take that circle, place it on the red so I know about how big I want that red part of the bottom to be on the gumball machine. Cut that out and I'm also gonna make it a little hat. Out of the area we painted silver, I'm gonna cut a little door shape a circle, and then a little line. Then it's time to arrange this and glue everything down. And at the very end, we've practiced a bunch of different skills with watercolor. We have this cute gumball machine. If I'd made this a little bit smaller, it would make a really cute card, but it would also look super cute frame.